tutorials this is PBM graphics yes in this video I'm going to show you how to clear your backdrop after taking a shoot yes and that is going to be an easy thing but however let us look at how uh, what kind of features that you are going to get when after shooting and you realize that the background should be clean in Photoshop yes in this case I have selected some kind of pictures over here that we have to check through yes and this particular picture yes what we need to do is that you need to extend your background so that this kind of thing will go away and when you look at the background so you see that there is kind of uh, wrapping and those kind of background you know it's not that good just because a studio shoot so you you, you have this kind of problem over there and you need to clean it up and the next picture to when you check on this particular picture it's very good and it's beautiful but however to make it very professional we just need to clean it so that down this kind of wrinkling thing uh, will, all of them will go away from and it's going to be beautiful and the next picture too when you check on the picture it's that the same thing just from the shoot and you need to clean it up so that all these kind of lines and those kind of things will go away and the background will be smooth and the next thing is that checking on this particular picture to do the same thing all what we need to do is to clean it up so that this kind of thing or kind of thing will go away just so that the picture will look so beautiful yes and there is the four pictures that I have just selected for you to check through but however i just want to use one or two so if there's still more time i'll check on all those pictures for you so let's just go into our photoshop and let's get it done so first of all this is our photoshop and what we need to do is to open that particular picture or that particular image or anything so let's just go to open and then we go over and select our uh, picture so however let me just start with the one picture over here and let's wait for it to what to open so that we can do anything to it yes however that is how we have the picture and this in this one there's no need to extend there's no need to do anything all what you need to do is to clean the background you get that yes and uh, there is some kind of very easy way of doing that is either you use a action to clean it action to what to clean it how do you do that uh, let's go to windows come to action and when you check on my action you see that i have a whole lot of actions over here and you can use any of them you get that yes you can see abm graphics over here and there is uh this one that's separation dodge and bend and blur and clean backgrounds and this one to action one is the same thing you get that so let us do something and you see let's use the action one and when you select this one then you play it so when you play it just watch how it is going to do first of all it's going to select the subject and the subject is the person in that particular uh, this thing it will select it and the next thing what it will do is that you you get it will select it and it will you know uh cut it it will cut only the subject away cut only uh, the background away and then it will blend the background so that it will look more professional and beautiful and it will look more good when it comes to uh, photography yes and the picture itself will look beautiful for the client and you know the patron will like it you get that yes so let us watch out how it will do you see what has happened so when you check on it this is before and this is after this is before and this is after yes and checking on it and that is how it is and that is how it will do you get that so this is how cleaning background is going to happen but however let us do it manually i don't want to have it like this so let us do it manually so i'll just delete everything just like that okay and i'll close up this i don't need it so this is the original picture so first thing you need to do is to create is to what to duplicate the image of this by pressing ctrl g so when you press ctrl g the next thing you have to do is to select the what the subject select only this person in that so i'll just come and click over here then when you're using the latest version of photoshop then you just have to click select subject or if you want to do it professionally you use your pen tool to select all the person you know select every every part of 
the person you see that you see that it has selected just like this okay and it's beautiful and you can even check through there are certain parts that that hasn't selected then you just select it like just this place too hasn't selected so you just need to select it up you get that yes so but for the for the tutorials i don't want the tutorial to be too long so i'm not going to do this kind of you know wahala you know it will take time you get that but if you are doing it for a client try and select any part of the person you get that yes so after doing it what i need what i need to do is that you can right click and come to layer view cards over there just like this you see that so when i close all you see that all the person has been selected you get that and let me just bring it back again yes and checking on this you see that when i close this and i close that i have only the background over here and that one too is beautiful so let me just open all but what i need is that i just want to work with the background so this one i'll call it background vg and then this one i'll call it subject yes and then after that i'll come and select my subject over here then i'll go to filter then i'll come to blur then i'll go to what gas and blur you get that and this particular case just try and move your radius to the end 0 0.1 and you start moving it and checking your, your background at any time that you realize that the background is smooth and it's beautiful then you leave it at you so let, let us just keep moving let us just keep moving let's leave for uh, 24 and you see that there is still that kind of things over there so you don't have to leave it there so you can still keep moving it until the background is smooth and beautiful and those kind of wrapping things is normal you get that yes so checking on this you see that it's smooth and there's nothing only that la the lighting is over here and you know what the background of this particular picture is that that that, that particular background or backdrop wasn't that heavy so it makes some you know kind of background for that person yes so after this let's just leave it 80 80 what 89.9 it's okay for me so let us just click okay so when you check on this you see that it has been you know everything has been selected and it's beautiful okay yes checking on that is beautiful and it's you know it's very beautiful but however there is kind of um let's close it up you see that down there there is shadow and those shadow how do you bring it back yes let's just do that and the next thing you have to do is add layer marks to that particular background over there just like this you get that then you come and select your brush tool over here when you select the brush tool over here and you just have to come let this place be black so when it's black then you just have to increase your brush and then just select those places so that that particular shadow will come out very clear and it will look so beautiful and there are certain parts too that need uh, the shadow to come out just try and bring it back and you see the image or that particular picture very beautiful and this is how it's just going to be done you get that yes and after getting this it's beautiful and you can decide to leave it that way and the next thing i have to show you that this background looks so distant and i don't like it that way and what i need to do is to add up some kind of uh, color to it so i'll just come to adjustment layer then i'll come and pick uh, a photo filter over there and because i want to add some color to it so that it will look more beautiful again so i'll just come and click on filter then i'll come to blue because the background is blue so i'll choose blue and when i choose blue the, the, the density over there when i leave it it will still be the same thing but when i move to the 100 you see that everything will change you get that the color will change and when you use this that is how you get when you preserve the luminosity that is how you get you get a very clear uh, this thing you can decide to mm, let it go in uh, so that you can understand what you are really doing like when you have it it will come back but when you so try and adjust it to on how you want it to what to be and let us use something like this over there and when you do it this is how you get and when you have it this is how you get but for you not to get distracted about this thing yeah, just, you just like have it like this over there and that is how you get it and it's beautiful and it looks the same thing today that particular picture over there and you can have it like this and after that when you have something like this you have done 
part of everything or just so you can just decide the what to save your image you get that and there are certain if you want to add uh, what is the name a uh, noise or that kind of thing that you need to add to it you can go to filter and come to noise then you add noise you get that so when you add noise to it you see that it will look so distant yeah, you get that so let's just do 12 and it's, it will be okay for me and when you check on the background you see that the background doesn't look so blare it looks so noisy you get that and even when it's too much you can either come back you come back to the filter again then you come to blur and you go to gas and blur again then you just decide to increase your noise to increase to the, your radius so that it will look so uniform to you and when you check on the background it will look like the person this is the same background but just that you have put some retouch and you have clean it up you get that and that is how you have it and it's so beautiful and then maybe in the next thing you need to you can now start working with the background the, the image the subject itself by adding color to it so let's just come and look up a uh, color lookup over there and i'll just choose come you know i have a whole lot of colors over there and i'll just try and use any color so let me just use front let me just use front and you, you you get that the image itself looks more beautiful so this is before this is after this is before and this is after and you know you can make more adjustment to it and it's going to look more beautiful and you can reduce your opacity so that it will look beautiful and working on this if you don't want it to apply to that particular background you have to right click here and do what and create a clipping mask so that it can only work with the person only over here you get that so, yes so there is kind of retouching step that you can get from this particular this thing yes and you can have too many things and after changing your background you clean up your background and everything is going to be beautiful yes so this tutorial is very broad and i don't want it to be looks so this thing so the next step or uh, next tutorial i'll teach you how to create action so that your work will be faster because in, in in a case that you have like five or ten works to do anything and if you don't do it so fastly your client will get annoyed of you so and i'll teach you how to use how to create your own actions like separation of uh what is the name Sa uh, separation of a uh, frequency separation dodge and bend uh or all kind of thing I i'm going to teach you so there is abm graphics and keep up with this particular channel and i'll teach you more and more of this thank you very much for watching this is abm graphics Happy